Our first is Johann Müller Rayo Montanus from 1436 to 1476. He was an astronomer in addition to a mathematician. He created detailed astronomical tables and published multiple textbooks. Johannes Kepler lived from 1571 to 1630. He was also an astronomer and he was an imperial mathematician in Prague. He is best known for his three laws of planetary motion. He worked in optics and invented an improved telescope for his observations. He says, I much prefer the sharpest criticism of a single intelligent man to the thoughtless approval of the masses. Gottfried Leibniz lived from 1646 to 1716. He laid down his own concepts for differential and integral calculus. He was behind the invention of the mass-produced mechanical calculator, and he modified the binary number system. He believed that our universe is the best possible universe that God could have created while allowing us free will. He was also a great advocate for rationalism. With the lovely Nussfarnstein castle as the background, we have a quote that says, he who hasn't tasted bitter things hasn't earned sweet things. Carl Friedrich Gauss from 1777 to 1855 made groundbreaking discoveries in almost every field of math. He found a way to quickly add up all integers from 1 to 100 at the age of 8, and he laid down the tenets for Gauss's law. He once said, It is not knowledge, but the act of learning, not possession, but the act of getting there, which grants the greatest enjoyment. August Ferdinand Nubius, from 1790 to 1868, he studied under Carl Gauss, and he's best known for his discovery of the Nubius Strip, a non-orientable two-dimensional surface with only one side. Mubius believes persons who have a decided mathematical talent constitute, as it were, a favored class. They bear the same relation to the rest of mankind that those who are academically trained bear to those who are not. Bernhard Riemann lived from 1826 to 1866. He contributed to number theory analysis and differential geometry. His paper on the prime counting number theory is considered one of the most influential papers in the history of analytic number theory. He came up with the first rigorous definition of integration and made groundbreaking discoveries regarding the distribution of prime numbers. He didn't have many notable quotes, but this one says, If only I had the theorems, then I should find the proofs easily enough. Richard Dedekind lived from 1831 to 1916. He was also a student of Gauss. He developed many concepts in set theory and invented Dedekind's cuts as the formal definition of real numbers. He gave the first definition of number fields and rings, two important constructs of abstract algebra. Dedekind believed we are justified in calling numbers a free creation of the human mind. Georg Cantor lived from 1845 to 1918. He was the inventor of set theory. He, pio he was also a pioneer in the understanding of infinity. He proved there are different sizes of infinity. But he spent decades in a mental institution because of depression and nervous breakdowns from lack of support for his discoveries. I thought it was very insightful when he said, to ask the right question is harder than to answer it. David Hilbert lived from 1862 to 1943. He was one of the most influential mathematicians of the 20th century. He worked in almost every area of math, but was particularly interested in building a formal logical foundation for maths. He presented a list of 23 unsolved problems during the International Congress of Mathematicians in 1900, and four of those are still unsolved today. Hilbert says mathematics is a game played according to certain simple rules with meaningless marks on a paper. Last but certainly not least, it's Emmy Noether. She lived from 1882 to 1935 and made discoveries in abstract algebra and theoretical physics, including the connection between symmetry and conservation laws. She's often described as the most influential female mathematician. She discovered Noether's theorem, which is instrumental in theoretical physics. And as a result, she was praised by Albert Einstein. Noether says, My methods are really methods of working and thinking. This is why they have crept in everywhere, anonymously.